A student teacher at Yates Arts and Education Magnet School brought his science lessons to life when he recently launched and landed a hot air balloon right on the school's playground. Good morning, boys and girls. Bernard Sullivan is a senior at SUNY Cortland and a licensed hot air balloon pilot. He has been student teaching in Alita O'Malley's fourth grade class, and he's taken the science curriculum a big step further. So I introduced some terms to the, in the science experiments like density, that wasn't included in the curriculum, so, I, uh, so the students would develop an understanding of that term and buoyancy as well. Introduced the terms, then I brought on, I developed the lesson, um, which was a PowerPoint, about a half an hour PowerPoint show, talking about uh, my experience with ballooning, the history of ballooning, the physics of ballooning, and what they can expect to see um, for the outdoor inflation. And it wasn't just the fourth graders getting involved with the balloon. Yates teachers decided to make it a school-wide, interdisciplinary lesson. He did a PowerPoint with the children in the classroom and talked about weather and, and the wind velocity and math and how do you get to there. And then one of our teachers has actually been up in a hot air balloon, showed a short clip of that. Our librarian did a, um, has read books about hot air ballooning. Mr. Lichten's class did the timeline. Mrs. Hines' class did the hot air balloons. And in fact, one of our third grades with a math teacher, they actually tried to figure out um, if they could make their own hot air balloons. So they put some hot air in garbage bags and tried to see which ones would go up and which ones didn't and some did and some didn't so they talked about what happens and the material of a hot air balloon and that kind of thing. When it came time for the big launch, students got to see exactly how those classroom lessons worked in the field. The air inside the balloon slowly starts to heat up and as the air heats up, the balloon starts to rise, becomes, it slowly becomes lighter than air. So the hot air rises and slowly starts to stand the balloon up. Once the balloon is stood up, that is when you start putting more heat into it. And then once the balloon is buoyant, it can then create lift and go up. Back on the ground, students got an up-close look at the balloon's mechanics. Oh, it's high! And by most accounts, it was worth it. I think the balloon was pretty interesting because how the, the pencil point flame got shot up and how the coal there made it stand up. Bernard's class even got a special assignment at the end, helping to pack up. I really, really enjoyed it because it was probably the first time and probably the only time I have ever, I'll ever get a chance to see a hot air balloon. This is what it's all about here, doing things like this. Flying is just a sub part of it. <laughs> Reporting at Yates Arts and Education Magnet School, I'm Sky Heritage. One more time, ready? Countdown. Three, two, one.